What is going on, everybody? It is week 17. That means the last Sunday in the National Football League's regular season. We're a week away from the playoffs, and we've got some interesting matchups that will decide who gets in and who is left out in the cold. And we start off with the 4-11 and Falcons and the 10-5 and Buccaneers. Buccaneers have pretty much clinched their playoff spot. Uh, they should be able to pick up the easy win against the Falcons, solidify themselves, as a wild card team and unfortunately for them they're gonna have to travel on the road so we'll see how that fares for Tom Brady and company next up we get the six and nine Cowboys at the five and ten Giants both of these teams still trying to win the NFC East here this week the Cowboys can do it with a win and a Washington loss the Giants can do it with a win and a Washington loss so this game is very crucial but whoever wins this game is going to have to wait until 8 p.m. tonight, or 8 p.m. Sunday night, rather, closer to like 10, 11, uh, to find out who actually has won the Sunday night football matchup between Washington and Philadelphia. But in this game, I'm going to pick Dallas. They look better. Uh, their offense has finally, finally found its stride. So I'm going to pick Andy Dalton, uh, Amari Cooper, and the bunch from Big D. Then we have the 2-13 Jets and the 6-9 Patriots. Both teams eliminated from playoff contention. This will do nothing more than help the Patriots get seeded in the uh, in the rankings or, or in, in the draft order. If they lose, they will have a better pick. Jets are locked in at number two. So I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Jets. I think the Patriots are gonna do a little tanking. They're gonna try everything in their power to increase their draft pick. Then we have the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions. Both of these teams are on the outside looking in. They will not make the playoffs. The Vikings are losers of three straight. I like the Lions in this game. It's always a, a nice, fun rivalry week in the NFL. I love seeing these teams that are eliminated and see how hard they play against their rivals. So I'm going to take the Lions in this game. Then we have the 12-3 and Steelers versus the 10-5 and Browns. This game could have been for the division had the Colts hung on and had the Browns not completely fallen apart at the hands of the New York Jets. And now the Browns, with a loss, have a very real possibility to miss the postseason. Steelers got a lot on the line here uh, in terms of being able to knock their division rival out of the playoffs. Either way, it's going to be the Browns or the Ravens trying to get in so the Steelers could eventually face one of their rivals down the road, but wouldn't it be nice to knock off the overhyped Cleveland Browns? I'm going to pick the Steelers in this game. They might not even start their starters, but the way the Browns played against the Jets has got to make you believe that the Steelers, no matter who they throw out there, have a great chance. So I am going to pick Pittsburgh. Then we have the Ravens at 10-5 and and the 4-10-1 and Bengals. Ravens need to win, plain and simple, if they want to get in. Uh, I'm going to pick Baltimore in this game. They absolutely need to win in order to make the postseason. Speaking of teams that need a win to get in, it's the Miami Dolphins at 10-5 and in the 12-3 and Bills. Bills have wrapped up the AFC East that much we know. They can't get the number one seed, so they will be playing. They will be hosting a playoff game. We know that much. Miami needs a win to get in, but they still have to face Buffalo. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. I'm going to pick the Bills in this matchup. I don't think the Dolphins have enough to get them over that threshold, so I will pick Buffalo. Then we have the 11 and 4 Seahawks in the 6 and 9 49ers. Seahawks still trying to uh, put away the division. Matter of fact, they have won the division as I have just peeked down at the Rams uh, record. Forgot the Rams lost to the Jets because it's hard to do that. So, yeah, the Seahawks, they are the NFC West champions. The most that can happen in this game is the 49ers can get a better draft pick if they lose. So Seahawks probably going to rest some guys. That I'm going to pick the 49ers to get a win here because it doesn't really matter for Seattle. Then the Cardinals and the Rams. Uh, both are still playing for a playoff spot. If the Rams were to lose, the Cardinals would vault them. And I believe the Cardinals would have a chance at the wild card. So, a lot to play for here between these two teams. I'm going to pick the Cardinals. I think they're think they're better. And uh, the Rams are without Jared Goff. So, Cardinals need this one, and I think they're going to do it. 
Then we have the 1 and 14 Jaguars versus the 10 and 5 Colts. The Jaguars have already won the Trevor Lawrence sweepstakes if he decides to declare for the draft. And the Colts are still trying to win the AFC South. They have to contend with the Titans. So the Colts need a win. I think they get it. Jaguars can't move up or down, so it doesn't really matter for them. But the Colts, they need this win to put away the AFC South. I'm going with them. Then the 10-5 and Titans take on the 4-11 and Texans. Give me the Titans in this game. They need it, obviously, the same way the Colts do. And uh, the Texans, they're going to need a higher draft pick if they want to start putting some more pieces back around to Sean Watson. So I'm going to pick the Titans in this game. Then we have the 7-8 and Raiders and the 5-10 and Broncos. Neither of these teams are going to be able to see the postseason, unfortunately. So I'm going to take the Raiders. They are the better squad all around. Uh, so they're going to be my pick for this Sunday afternoon matchup. Then the 6-9 and Chargers take on the 14-1 Chiefs. Chiefs have the AFC locked up, the entire conference. They are the number one seed. So they can rest a lot of their starters. Chargers might win this game. Justin Herbert trying to get a nice nice win under his belt to close this year out. I'm going to pick the Chargers. The 12-3 and Packers and the 8-7 and Bears. Packers have a chance to nearly eliminate Chicago. The Bears win. They're almost in. They need it more, but the Packers, they still have to keep the Saints away from the number one seed. I am going with Green Bay. Then the 11 and 4 Saints will take on the 5 and 10 Panthers. Saints, uh, they like I said uh, just a, a game ago, they are vying for the number one seed in the NFC, so they need a win. And Carolina, they're out, so they uh, the, the best that can happen for them is they can get a better draft pick. Uh, but it would be sweet for the Panthers to rob the Saints of the number one seed. Saints are going to be without a whole bunch of their running backs, so it, if there's a time for the Panthers to strike, it's probably now. Uh, I'm going to go with the Saints, though. They are the more well-rounded football team. They're obviously the playoff team uh, of this scenario. They're going, and they're going to host a game no matter what. But now it's just a matter of can the Saints win the conference. That's up for debate. It depends on how Chicago and Green Bay play, and they need themselves a win. So I'm going to go with the Saints. Then at 820, the NFC East could be won or could be lost by Washington in this game. The 6-9 and nine football team meet the 4-10 and 1 Eagles. Eagles win. Then the winner of the Giants-Cowboys game wins the NFC East. If the football team wins, they win the NFC East. And we can finally put this division to bed. I'm going to pick the Eagles. I think they got a lot to play for. A lot of pride on the line. A chance to knock your division foe out of the playoffs. I'm going to go with Philadelphia, and then that would lead the Dallas Cowboys to host a playoff game next week. So, funnier things have happened. Maybe the Giants will host their second playoff game in MetLife Stadium history. Maybe the football team will host their first playoff game in football team history. A lot riding on the line in a very interesting year. So, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it. We've finally come to the conclusion of the 2020-2021 NFL season. Whew. Been a wild ride. Ups and downs, a lot of a lot of uncertainty throughout the year. Uh hopefully we're off to a better 2021. Uh, I know I am personally, so this is just it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to see how these games shake out. I hope that you enjoy watching. I hope your team wins. Unless your team is the Cowboys, then I don't like you and we're not friends. Uh outside of that, Enjoy the games, have fun, stay safe, you know the drill, and I will catch you all next week for Playoff Football.